have history here and it's not necessarily the best history. You said that you believe you got an attachment from here the last time. Yes, this is the absolute worst experience of my life. Human. Human. I also got ashes on the Oculus 4. Anyways, worst experience of my life. So after I left here, my physical and mental health competes. Yes, I competed. You can say that. Um, my physical and mental health and spiritual health went down drastically. So the empath that I am, I was not. I was basically turning into a... I felt I was turning into a psychopath and I was on the verge of going into a mental institution. How? <laughs> you, uh... One of the spirits here attached themselves to me. Yeah. Um, so I was on the verge of going to a mental institution. I would even argue that I was in the process of going to jail. Because my... When I would go to work and stuff like that, I was on the verge of having a mental breakdown and like being very violent with people. And then to, after two months of this, um, I contracted a colon, a colon infection. So I was throwing up everything that I was eating. I had no control of my bowels whatsoever, going 15 to 20 times a day. The hospital could not find anything. After like the 10th stool test, they finally found the bacteria C. diff. But that was, I had a shamanic practitioner work on me before I had to go to the hospital. And then after I worked with the shamanic practitioner and got the attachment off of me, they were finally able to find that bacteria and have it killed and save my life. So this whole year I've been recovering from all of this and this is my first time in here since that day. That's crazy. Like, yeah. I always hear about attachments and they're serious. Like sometimes you don't know that you have an attachment until it's too late. <laughs> no. Most of the time, no. but you're very lucky that you found somebody that specialized and it was able to get rid of that attachment for you because that's terrifying. But I'm glad that you're still here with us and <laughs> I'm glad <Yeah>. that you're <laughs> you're spiritually okay enough to be in here. Absolutely. As I was saying, the further we go down, how many stories is this? Eight stories. Eight stories. It gets creepier. So I'm going to tell you just standing here, there's somebody back behind us. So um, don't I know if you guys know if you're the first uh, watching this episode of my channel. I am a psychic medium, which means I can speak to the other side, see the other side, um, and feel things that are in there. And there is something definitely standing over there, and it is an older gentleman. Um, and he's just staring at us right now. So... Don't know his name, don't know his intentions, but... Marker. Shepherd. It's that cellar. Cellar? Do, you... do you want us to go to the cellar? Like, do you mean, as in cellar, do you mean go down further? Oh, let's... Wide. Let's talk to this guy, then. Yeah, I don't know. The gentleman that's standing over there right now, what is, what is your name? Beat... My name is Luna. This is Adam. That's Nolan. May we have your name so we can address you appropriately? Or why are you watching us? He looks like a big. What did he say? Bet. Are you taking bets with the spirits on the other side of who you can scare first or? Recent, necessary. What would happen if I opened one of these? Course, like course as in brutal. EMF, electromagnetic fields, electricity to either um, produce energy or show themselves. These will tell me which direction they're at. Something said to look. To look. Okay. Where do you want us to look? So, I'm just gonna ask whatever spirits. General. General. I'm going to ask whatever spirit is standing in here to please show me which direction you're at right now. Yeah, he's still over there. Is it on the other side of the urn? Is it in yeah, that room over there? right on the other side right here. Are you a man? Cross, yes. And open for no. Yeah, it's a man. No. 
Are you just watching us because you're interested? Soldiers. Yes. Were you a soldier? Um, standing still, not really giving a yes or no on that one. Were you in the military? I'm not giving a yes or no for that one either. Do you remember seeing me here? Standing still. Not doing anything. Um, is there something evil here that we need to look out for? That one crossed, yes. Is what? It, is it further down in the basement? Are you still standing here? Can you show me where you're standing? Over in that corner now. Do the employees here know about the evil? Whoa. That was like... Yeah. Straight up, yes. And as you guys see, I'm not moving them at all. This is... Do we need to be worried about the entity that's in here? Yeah. Shit. I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. I've kind of come across things like this before. We just yeah. have to be respectful of their boundaries. Um, Girl. Are you talking about Una? Will you protect us on this investigation and follow us around? Yeah. Cool. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks. I'm being drawn this direction, like bad. Is it there or is it down the stairs? Because I kind of felt the similar pull, but it was like down here. Factors. 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 This part. What did you just say? Projection. And you were talking about how you just saw someone over there? Yeah. There's a lot of woozy ghosts in here. Did you manifest for us just now? If you go further down, I'll turn on the spirit box. Did it say yes? East. Oh, that's but a yes. What? According to Chris Fleming, the obvious will do that. It said east, but maybe it did say yes. Time. see us and I know that you can hear us you are not allowed to touch attached to any one of us or use your negative energies to make us feel a certain way you do not have permission at all whatsoever I don't mean any disrespect to you March did you just hear a man's voice? disaster Is the entity that you're talking about down here? Yeah, I agree. 
whenever that happens, it's a little nerve wracking. Okay, spirits, this is Adam. I'm with, I'm with Luna. Pierce. And we're here at the mortuary. Moment. There was a man upstairs earlier that said he would protect us from certain entities in the mortuary or the mausoleum here. One of our devices just said thing and we're wondering what is meant by that? What is thing? I don't exactly remember how to get there, but I'm not sure where to find them. Since we're dealing with eight floors of mausoleum here, 